Today is Friday, December the 9th. I sure am happy today is Friday, but I can't wait for next week. It is sure to be filled with fun. That's right. Starting with the choir concert that will take place on Tuesday, December the 13th at 6 o'clock in the cafeteria. The 4th grade and 5th grade students have been working so hard after school to put this concert together, as well as our amazing music teachers, Miss Nahila and Miss Johnson. I can't wait to see what they have been working on. Me too. We also have the Special Olympics on Wednesday the 14th. We will have people from all over Poole County coming to our school to compete in the Olympic activities. Some of the activities include baseball, a ball pit, and track and field. Those all sound like so much fun. I agree. Now let's get this show started and send it over to Madeline and Grace for a special teacher feature. Hello, Hello Waters. Welcome, Welcome to our, our segment, segment, Teacher Feature. My name is Madeline. And I am Grace. Today we're going to talk about one of our amazing teachers here at Cole, Ms. Dasher. First thing you should know that this is Ms. Dasher's first year teaching third grade. Last year she taught second grade. That's right. Let's see what she's up to and ask her some questions. Yeah, why don't we ask her why she likes teaching so much? Hello. Hi, Ms. Dasher. Can we ask you some questions? Yeah, come on in. Would you like to have a seat in my library? Sure. Oh, okay. So, Ms. Dasher, our first question is, what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant, I love Italian food, so I'd have to say Olive Garden is my favorite. Oh, mm. breadsticks. That's a great answer. How many kids are in your class? How many kids are in my class? So I teach reading in the third grade, and I have two sets of classes, right? I have 17 kids in the morning and 17 in the afternoon. Wow. That's, that's a little cool. more than mine. Mm -hmm. How long have you been teaching at Cole? So that's a great question. I have been teaching at Cole for two years, but I've been hanging out at Chain of Lakes Elementary for six I started uh, volunteering when my oldest son was in kindergarten, and then I became a substitute teacher, and then I was substituting every single day and decided I might as well be a teacher. So last year was my first year, and this is my second year. But all in all, I've been hanging out at Chain for almost six years. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a puppy dog. So I have a small dog. Her name is Luna and she's actually an adult dog. She's three years old, but she's small enough in size to kind of match up to like what a puppy would be. So my favorite is a puppy. Yeah, um, I love the name Luna. I had a cat named Luna. You did? I love that name too. For the next question, I want to know what is your first name? My first name is Lane. So you spell it L-A-Y-N-E. And a lot of my friends call me Laney because of the way it's spelled, which I will answer to. But students at Chain of Lakes, you can call me Miss Dasher. Yes, that would be more appropriate for at school. Yes. Last question, why do you like teaching so much? Well, I know that I had a lot of fun in school when I was growing up. And that's what I enjoy about teaching. I like making school fun. I like learning to be fun. I like reading books and getting into the stories because I am a reading teacher. Yes. <laughs> and so I like school to be fun with a side of business. Yes. Thank you for allowing us this interview and sharing how awesome you are with the school. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. I love to have new students always come to visit. And I'll have you spin the wheel when you leave today. Okay. So one thing that's cool in my classroom is I have a wheel for all of my visitors, my adult visitors that come while I'm teaching. But when they do come, I ask them to spin the wheel and they spin it to the right. And if they land on the star, everyone in the classroom gets a piece of candy. So no pressure if you're visiting. Okay. <laughs> do you want to spin the wheel? Sure, sure. Why don't you try? Okay. So this way? Mm -hmm. See how you do. You land on the star, I guess I owe you a piece of candy. Uh-oh. Kind of close, though. Better luck next time. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for having us again. You're welcome. See you tomorrow.
Ahoy, otters, and welcome, welcome to Weird But cool, cool Facts. I'm here. And I'm Sasha. Did you know that in the 1800s, people answered by saying ahoy on the phone instead of hello? Wow, that's awesome. Now, did you know that some bees are purple? They are called the violent carpenter bees. That is very interesting. I wonder what they look like. But did you know that a 16-year-old girl named Laura Decker sealed the world all by herself? Now that's amazing. Think of all the places she went. Well, did you know that some researchers can tell what shampoo you use by analyzing the chemicals on your phone? Wow, how can they do that? I didn't even think that was possible. At least I always clean the phone. Another interesting fact is an ice cream shop in Mexico serves up scoops of ice cream for your pet pooch. It's probably not chocolate flavored. Agreed. So, for all the bookworms and all the book lovers, there are more book titles in the world on Earth than different species of living things. Wow, that is a lot of books. I wonder which ones are the best. The final fact for today is that a fifth grader once texted her local police station's non-emergency phone line for help with their math homework. I didn't even think a student would even think about doing that. I'm sure her parents weren't happy with them. Oh, my parents would ground me for a week if I even thought of doing that. Well, that's all we have for today, Otters. Well, we've got to go. We're going to be late for science class. Bye, Otters. Hey, Otters. I'm back with another Three's Fun Fact segment. Today's fact is about the Boeing 747-8. The 747-8 has been in use since November 14th of the year 2005. Other versions of the 747 have been around even longer than the 747-8. The 747-8 is mainly a passenger plane used by Cathay Pacific Airways, Korean Air, Lufthansa, and obviously Qatar Airways. Did you know that only 36 747-8 planes have been built? That's a crazy small amount. Well, I better get headed to the airport so I can catch my flight on one of the 36 747-8 to Qatar. Bye! Welcome, Welcome back. back! We hope you enjoyed today's show. We definitely enjoyed making it. Yes, we did. Now have a great Friday, Otters. Bye!